Spurs at home. It's Sunday morning and I'm wide awake after my little boy gives me a shake. Wake up, daddy, his excited voice thuds. What time do the hammers play the spuds? 12 o'clock kickoff, I replied, as he got in bed and laid beside. And then he said, I hope Lanzini plays. As I focus from my sleepy haze, do you think Moyes will let him have a go and it will be another Lanzini show? Not sure, I said. It will be what it will be. But if we win, there'll be two points above Chelsea. I'm now sitting down. It's 11.55. Can we keep this amazing dream alive? They've just shown the replay when we drew three all. Will we show up and answer the call? Five minutes later and they take the knee. By about 1.45, I guess we will see. That's it, we're playing with bubbles dispersing. Will there be shouting with some hammers cursing? Because we ate the spuds as much as Millwall. Then after four minutes, Antonio a goal. Lloris at fault, but a great cross from Bowen. Antonio with a poke, his goal prowess showing. Wouldn't it be great to get a few more? Our fourth position in the league to ensure. Antonio attacking, support from Lingard. Some nice interplay, final pass just too hard. 12 minutes in, a lamella long run. It falls to Kane and we're still leading by one. Spurs get a corner, then there is a head clash. Suchek is hurt with a bad looking gash. A pretty bad cut just above his eye. He walks off to get treated with a smile so wry. A really tough hammer, has passion and poise. I'm a really big fan of our two Czech boys. He then comes back on with what looks like a plaster. Our centre midfielder is a defensive master. 26 minutes, a Bowen handball. Son takes the free kick, but it's not much at all. 32 played, we get a free kick. Ball defended well, and we miss a trick. Then Bowen is fouled, which sparks off a riot. Mourinho goes mad. The ref tells him to be quiet. A corner is taken. Cresswell he takes. Dawson is there, and the header he makes. But Lloris puts it over. He makes a fair save. A 2-0 cushion is what we all crave. A good curling shot is hit by Lamella. Fabianski to his right. His performance is stellar. With one minute left, a really long throw. A corner we've won, but nothing to show. Then a great shot, this time from Kane. But a super Fabianski is there again. Three minutes then, injury time played. It's now half-time and one nil at a stayed. Half-time thought. We get an announcement from Boris tomorrow. Hopefully good news to ease lockdown sorrow. Over 50s get the vaccine, end of May has been set. And by the end of July, all the others will get. As Bitcoin flies up to 56 grand, it's digital money, so nothing to hand. A cashless system, that's where we're going. As this cryptocurrency adoption is growing. Season tickets in future, they'll be digitally bought and only can watch the hammers with a vaccine passport. Second half. Two changes for Spurs, Doherty and Bale. Then Lingard scores a goal, but an offside fail. VAR is checked. It really does suck. But then all of a sudden we get some good luck. We get the decision and a Lingard celebration. The supporters at home are full of elation. There's Dawson again. He heads it clear. He's been great this season and shows no fear. 55 minutes to check an unfair booking. He played the ball. Was the ref even looking? 57 played. A free kick to Spurs. Came with a shot, but he has no cures. The shot just wide, but Fab was there. But a warning sign for our team to beware. Fabianski again gathers in a cross. Let's hope he remains the clean sheet boss. Bow with a corner and there's Lucas Mora. Let's hope he's the only Spursy scorer. Bowen is off and on comes Ben Rama. Will he help ease some of this drama? Who's sitting at home biting their nails? We need another goal to tip the scales. 70 gone with 20 to play. All the decisions are going their way. We had four players booked in the second half and I'm not really having so much of a laugh. Regular and off, replaced by Deli Alley. Let's hope we can end this dilly and dally. 
Cain puts in a cross. It's cleared by Rice. A pass back to Bale. And he hits it so nice. Just too high. And hits the crossbar. And thankfully today, he is no superstar. Ben Johnson is on. For now's the change. Then Fabianski comes out but can't find his range. He takes out Soufal. He looks pretty hurt. But he's hard, that hammer, with number five on his shirt. They get a corner with three minutes to play. Ben Johnson clears, I'm pleased to say. Defending hard for all our sake. But can Antonio catch them on the break? 90 minutes plus five to play. Can they hold on to make our day? Then ball deflected onto our upright. Not sure about you, but gave me a fright. Then ball played up and Luis poor kick. Come on, referee, let's finish it quick. Noble comes on in place of Lingard. One minute left, there's a win on the card. We get a free kick. Can we play it out? The ref blows up and there is no doubt. Oh man, I'm so happy. I'm blown away. A brilliant game, I have to say. Full of suspense, joy and intrigue. And we are now fourth in the Premier League. There is a rumour it was predicted by Mayans. So I'll say it once more. Come on, you Irons!